Hello, I'm Adam Barrowlay and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the angel of Haniel. Now, there are so many different angels that we can call on for a whole multitude of purposes. And much of the time we call on angels to bring something into our lives. Whether it be to bring in love, to bring in healing, to bring in messages or to bring in protection. But sometimes what we need is not to bring something in, but to let go of something. And there's some great angels for helping us with that. And Haniel is one of those premier angels. So in this video, we're going to explore exactly who Haniel is, what the energy Haniel encompasses, and how you can work with Haniel, as well as bringing in other nature gifts to align with Haniel as well. Haniel's name translates to mean glory of God, and she allows us to see the glory of this planet and to experience pure love, light, and laughter all the time because she purifies and cleanses any blockages, any lack of clarity, any confusion that stops us being to, connected to our great creator. She can, in within moments, take you from a point of feeling that life is absolutely hopeless to having full faith in the magic of the universe once again. Now she is a caretaker of this planet and she helps to remove ulterior motives and work with world leaders to allow them to make decisions as we go forward in this evolution to, that will be the best for all of humanity and for the planet as a whole. Now Haniel has a special affinity with plants and the cleansing and healing abilities of plants. So when you're called to work with Haniel, you may also find that plants come in a lot. We know that plants can allow us to, our body to regenerate, to rebalance and to get rid of what doesn't serve us in our body. So when we're working with Haniel, we can bring that plant medicine in as well. So whenever there is anything in your life that you need to get rid of on a physical level, mental, emotional, or even spiritual, then Haniel is an amazing angel to call upon. When Haniel shows up, it is normally a sign that it is time for you to detoxify or let something go in your life. Now, maybe you'll call upon Haniel whenever you've made this decision for yourself and you need some angelic support. Now, this may be in the physical realm. Maybe you need to go on a more plant-based diet for a while to allow your body to detox and cleanse itself and come back to its natural balance. Maybe there's something emotional. Maybe there's some baggage that you've been holding on to, or maybe you've been through some hurt or heartbreak or some great grief, and Haniel can be used to help cleanse all this away. You may find that there's some kind of habit that you need to kick, or maybe this attitude that you kind of just... or a paradigm that you need to shift or a thought pattern that's not serving you anymore. Maybe you're beating yourself up in that kind of way. This is where you really want to call upon Haniel and she'll support you in all these different ways. Now there are lots of different ways that you can work with Haniel but a really great way that I find is absolutely amazing is if you can find, let me grab one, a pure white feather. This really corresponds, Haniel has this kind of white light energy and get a feather and then just brush it along. Maybe, you know, it's a thought, so you just want to brush that thought out in a kind of real cleansing kind of manner and cleanse that in however way you want to. Now, Haniel also has a really strong connection to the full moon. So doing a full moon cleansing and letting things go can be really quite potent as well. Remember that Haniel is associated with plants, so if you are drawn or suddenly start seeing, noticing plants around or essential oils or flower essences or just a florist or that kind of thing, that may be Haniel somehow communicating with you and showing you a sign. Remember that we can also feel an angel's energy within us and so when you feel this release of a burden or any suffering, this renewed sense of hope or lightness, that can also be Haniel's presence around you, helping you out wherever you need to let go of something. Crystals are an amazing way to work with all the angels and Haniel is no exception. Now, if you just want to start to get to know Haniel and start working with this cleansing and start shifting things in your life, then I'd suggest you work with selenite. Now, selenite is well renowned for being a cleansing crystal in the mineral kingdom. And so this is a really great one just to wear and you can see it can be hard to find selenite jewelry because if it gets wet, it starts to crumble and get kind of loses its beauty, but you can also carry a piece with you. And I love to keep a piece of selenite near my front door. Or maybe you have it at your desk somewhere. And whenever you feel like, oh, I just need to let it go, again, I call this sometimes my spiritual lint roller. 
So allow it to just brush along your arm and allow yourself to cleanse away any unwanted energy. Now, if you're really dedicated to working with Henny, or maybe you're gonna do a really hardcore detox, a 21 day detox, or something that really needs to be ripped out of your body, maybe you've been you know, through some rough stuff, then you wanna upgrade your crystal and you wanna go for the most powerful cleansing crystal there is. In my opinion, that is polyocyte, P-O-L-L-U-C-I-T-E and it's spelt down in the notes below as well. Polycyte is renowned for helping to cleanse away energy on a physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. Now, it's not so much one you'd carry away all the time, but more you'd use in meditations or in healing. So when you want to bring in Haniel's energy, kind of blast out whatever's not serving you anymore, grab your polycyte or have that nearby, and that will really facilitate that energy. You can dedicate either of these crystals or any crystal that you love to use cleansing for to Haniel, and when you need to align with that cleansing energy from the angelic realms, hold that crystal, have it near, and feel Haniel come in, and assist you in letting go what no longer serves you. We can also use essential oils to help us connect with the angelic realms. And I've chosen three amazing essential oils that I love to blend together when I'm aligning with Haniel. Now, there are so many different cleansing essential oils and I've done other videos on my channel about them. You can dive in and explore them a little bit. But the three that I've chosen for this blend, the first one is Hyssop. Now, the reason I've chosen hyssop is because out of all the oils, hyssop is my absolute favorite for cleansing. It is a mighty one. It has a long history of being used for cleansing energy in different spaces. In fact, they actually used to use it to ward off the angel of death or Azrael. So Haniel really helps to cleanse away anything that's not going to serve you or that's going to have a destructive energy in your life. So we want to use hyssop to start off with. The second one is something that is used in, um, for, by Indigenous Australians to help cleanse energy, and that is lemon myrtle. What I love about lemon myrtle as well is that beautiful lemon scent. It definitely brings in a bit more light, and a bit more um, joviality, and a bit more joy into our lives as well. It also helps to get rid of anything that stops us connecting with other people. It allows us to um, bring equality to any type of relationship. And so this is a great one for cleansing, bring us all equal, help us feel happy, and then we bring in Palmarosa. Palmarosa grows in big um, blades of grass and I almost think of it like a sword. And so it's like my sword of love. Palmarosa has this aroma very similar to rose. It's sometimes used by people that don't produce pure oils um, to cut their rose essential oil so they can get um, you know, more rose oil for a cheaper price. But energetically, it stands on its own as being this real warrior of love fighting for love and able to cleanse away any unwanted energy. So uh, hyssop gets rid of everything. It's like our flamethrower. We've got that joy coming in with the lemon myrtle and we've got that palmarosa coming in with that love. So we've got a bit of love and light with those last two oil. So those three can be pop, popped in a diffuser. You may want to put it in a spritzer bottle and cleanse it around yourself or cleanse the space and ask Haniel to help you to do the same as well. Maybe you're doing a, a space clearing, a house clearing or something like that. Try those three in a, um, in a little spritzer um, and walking around rather than using a smudge stick is another way you could use it as well. So have you worked with this angel Haniel? What's been your experience? What have you noticed? Do you feel that lightness that Haniel brings? Do you see the, um, the joy of the plant kingdom that Haniel really kind of likes to share with us all and bringing plants back to their healing capacities as a mainstay in our life as well? I'd love to hear about your experiences. Please leave a comment in the section below so we can all learn from each other's experiences. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.